In 1878, a remarkable innovation revolutionized the transportation of oil, the birth of the first oil tanker. The Zoroaster, this groundbreaking vessel boasted a hull constructed with steel, a material made widely available thanks to Henry Bessemer's pioneering method of producing steel from pig iron in the latter half of the 19th century. The Zoroaster featured iron, tanks specially designed to hold the precious oil. A brilliant brainchild of Ludwig and Robert Nobel to transport the oil from its source to the ship's tanks, they ingeniously devised an oil pipeline, streamlining the process and ensuring a smooth flow of this valuable cargo. To maintain stability at sea, the Nobels also developed a sophisticated system of ballast, effectively stabilizing the uh, ship during its voyages. This system proved instrumental in guaranteeing the safe transport of the oil without compromising the ship's integrity. The success of the Zoroaster prompted the Nobels to embark on further ventures, constructing additional tankers to carry oil across the vast Caspian Sea and up the Volga and Don rivers. These remarkable vessels, built in Sweden, embarked on an extraordinary voyage, navigating the Baltic Sea, canals and smaller rivers that ultimately led them to the Volga River's embrace. From there, they sailed onwards towards the Caspian Sea, utilizing this route, which proved most suitable for tanker travel during the high water levels following the winter thaw. These pioneering tankers forever changed the landscape of maritime transport by introducing the revolutionary method of carrying liquid cargo by ship. The Zoroaster and its fellow vessels blazed a trail into uncharted waters, transforming the oil industry and opening the door to a new era of efficient and reliable oil transportation.